The Technology Modernization Fund Board will receive fewer than 100 pretty robust project proposals by June 2nd. That's the term federal CIO Claire Martirana used. The TMF will focus on cybersecurity proposals after some high-profile cyber hacks at agencies. Richard Spires is principal at Richard A. Spires Consulting, former chief information officer at the Department of Homeland Security. The devil now is in the details, isn't it, Richard? We have a bunch of money. We have the pro the, these robust uh, proposals coming in that Claire says uh, should start to, to be coming in. What's next for agencies? They got to get the proposals in, I suppose. And then once they get the money, they got to execute, right? Yeah, that, absolutely, Francis. And I, I, I must say, I'm very pleased with the way things are gone to date with this. Obviously, the money, the, the billion dollars proposals are due, I believe, June 2nd. And uh, I really like the selection criteria that they, they outlined. And in particular, I like a couple of things they talk about. Um, the fact that it, it needs to support the mission and be very, very clear what the outcomes will be from the project and or if it's like cyber security related, exactly what it's going to do for the agency. I also like the fact that it, it needs to align with the IT modernization strategy for the organization, for the agency. But most important, what I really like is the fact that they're talking about, they call it feasibility. I like to call it ability to execute. This notion that these projects, you need to have the right project team. You need to have the right methodologies in place. You need to have the right governance structure. Because the last thing we want to see is a lot of money is sent out to agencies on these projects. And then a year or two years later, the IG reports come out and, and talk about all the failures. We do, we do not want to see that for the federal IT community. When I read between the lines of this, Richard, I read a phrase that's not expressed, but I think it's implied, and that is, feel free to think big. You think I'm reading that right? I, I think you are. And I'll go back to something that the, the, you know, the new federal CIO said, Claire, about she used this term I like, holistic modernization. You know, you and I have talked in the past on this show about I, I'm, I'm always concerned about agencies doing stovepipe modernization, where they, they are just very narrow and small projects. But if you really start thinking about holistically, how do you modernize a whole agency, starting with the mission, starting with what you need to deliver, but then that has to go into the IT systems and, and modernizing these IT systems. So I think they're headed in the right way. But I always come back to that issue of ability to execute and, you know, be careful about getting too much money all at one time. It, it can be actually a, a negative Who's, if you're not ready to, with the projects and, and with the uh, talent to be able to execute well. Where's the right place for the oversight to keep that execution on track? Is it within the agencies? Is it, it, it should it be in Claire's office for that holistic modernization concept? Where should that live, Richard? Yeah, I, I think, I mean, uh, it, it's just too hard for the, to do this all out of OMB. You, you gotta have it at the agency level. That doesn't, now, OMB has got an oversight responsibility. They need to make sure the right governance is taking place. And by governance, I'm talking about having the right executives on both the business and mission side, together with the IT side, you know, at the table, working this together, making sure these projects are doing the right things. Being able to say time out, if we don't have the right talent on board yet, Let's not start something that we're not ready to start. These are hard things to do, but very, very important if you're going to run, particularly if you're going to run larger scale IT projects and programs. So then turbocharging the collaboration on the CIO Council might be the right location for that. I'm just worried that we get, everybody gets their money, and as, which is great, and then they go off and, and work on their projects and they go right back into those, those silos that you talked about, Richard. I, yeah, I just wonder well, where the structure lives to make sure that people don't do that again. Yeah, I, I think that's gonna, that, that push is gonna have to, I think, start with OMB because you know, that's, they're going to have to make sure that the agencies are doing this the right way. I like the fact that they've engaged with the federal CIO council around this holistic modernization planning initiative. They're going to have a working group. I think that's a very positive thing. But I would like to see OMB really step up. Maybe they can leverage some GSA resources as well as this. You know, you know we, had, we had that tech stat program back when I was at, at DHS coming out of OMB. I think that was helpful. I think we're going to need that kind of oversight at that level. But that's only going to focus on a small percentage of projects. It can't focus on all these projects that are ongoing. 
we're really going to need to beef up, if you will, that oversight within the agencies. We have about a minute left, Richard. What will you watch as the money goes out and we start to see motion on the projects? Yeah. Well, I should say, I expect there's going to be a lot of transparency around these projects, which ones have been approved, and I suspect there's going to be good transparency about how they're being executed. Obviously, going back to my theme on, on uh, good execution, I you don't want to really want to see some successes here. So let's, uh, let's get some things that we can get some early successes on. But, but to your point, you got to go big, and going big means replacing some of these large legacy systems. That's going to take years and years to do. So we need, we need a combination of both. But the other thing they're really stressing, which is obviously correct these days, is the use of agile methodologies, use of incremental delivery. You know, let's not try to boil the ocean with you know, a, a multi-year project where you don't see anything until the end. We've got to really see some progress along the way, or you need to call time out, revisit how you're doing things, get the right team in place to then, to, to then execute. Richard Spires, thanks very much as always. Great to have you. Thank you, Francis.